Welcome back. This is Teo T Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, thank God. Say we're godly. You get me? Yeah. Are you not godly? I'm godly. How godly are very you? Very godly. How godly are you? Very, very godly. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you went to church? Just <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was going to ask you that. Does church make me godly? Does church make you godly? But when was the last time you went to church? Mm? When was the last time huh? you went to church? When was the last time? <laughs> Do you even have a church in Lekki? Hmm? Do you have a church in What? <laughs> Do you have a Sometimes church? Sometimes my ears just doesn't. Do you have a church what? in VI? Like, it itches a bit. What about Victoria Island? What? Hmm? May God have mercy on your soul. Uh, amen. Yeah. All amen. right. So, moving on. Yeah, we still have a few more stories for you guys before we say adios um, for the day. Yeah. So, um, visibly, heartbroken Kelly Anson revealed that it was a woman who was behind his brother's death. Bruno's death, now that I know the truth about my brother, Bruno's deaths may, they must all die, including their babas, addresses, babas, children, driver, family, he said. When we get to heaven, we shall settle it about, settle it out, but for now, their own don't finish, so just go ahead and murder yourself so the rest will suffer. Meanwhile, help me use this comment section to rain desired, well, okay, uh, we shall see who is more wicked, you or God. If you're a pastor, prophet, or bishop, you better chase them away when they come to confess uh what's your take on this one mm. Uh, mm. Irks me. yeah it's a lot of hate yeah. i mean i understand that you you're hurt is dirt, but mm. Mm. that's way too much yeah it is but what you call sandy baba baba's children i take on sandy uh <laughs> you <laughs> you need to make sure that you're still you're not clouded by emotions mm -hmm. i think I struggle with, with people. Especially during grief. Yes. You can't, it's not an excuse. And I know people can be a bit like sentimental when you say this on the back. My God, it's so wrong. He's going through a lot. Allow him to grieve. Mm. No, you're not, because you're hurting doesn't mean that you lose all sense of, um, of Humanity. responsibility and then just be talking anyhow and be wishing, you're wishing for other people awful things. Like you can be grieving and still be, a, okay, can't use that word on TV. You can still you can still be, you can be grieving and, be, and still be a bum hole like for all you know like you and you can still be called out for that. Mm -hmm. I I I'm, stop wishing death on people. It's not allowed. I watched the movie last night and um, they were they were inmates right. They were being transported and um, their truck stopped right, and they were being attacked. So in the course of being attacked, they, there was a bond between the inmates, right? And then they started sharing their stories of how they got arrested. And one of them said that a guy raped the sister and he beat the guy to coma. Mm. And the guy will never wake up from coma. And one of the inmates, a bad guy, just looked at him. How did I help your sister? Hmm. Do you understand? Like, the person you're fighting for to help the person, how did he help the person? And then now you're being locked away for nine years. Do you understand? Now your sister has no one to protect her outside mm. no more. So how did that really help the That's person? That's a very good way to look so at it. So if you mm. look at that the same way now, how has he helped your brother? Well, brother he's gone. dead now. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how does he even help gone. you? How does he help you? And how I think does he people. Help anyone? I hope people realize if you've ever done it before, you realize that even vengeance doesn't last very long. Mm -hmm. it, it's sweet, but for and sometimes you might lose. Oh. Why are you trying to avenge? You, it's you such might a short period of time. Like mm -hmm. there's a there's a boy that used to bully me in high school. Yeah, I know. Bully me seriously, seriously in junior high. A boy. Yes, a boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where is he? Point me in his direction. I you can point him. you to you. You know him. Yes. Well, you still know him. he even texted me one time on on Please Twitter, point, point saying, to, "Oh, hey, you fell." I was like, "See, thunder." See, the boy in that will fire you. I point me in the boy's direction. You no, know, he was proper bully. You. Like he used to even physically beat me. Point himself. the boy. Point me to the boy's direction. I will. I will. Yes, I will. Just point yeah. There. I, I don't know. It was a long story. My godmother made us. They, you know that when godmother thing is very strong. He, she just came to me one day. That's your boyfriend. And I know once. That's when the beating started. Like he used to find me in corners and be like hurting me. It was really crazy. Like really, really crazy story. And I was I really tiny like this. I was like, I wasn't even up to like this height. Or I'm like, bro, I don't want to do. I don't want to kiss is this in not the your corner. Ah, I can't do the finger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I mean, you know, I really had like serious hate for the boy because it was awful to me. Like, it made high school really scary and stuff. And then I started noticing, like, towards like GS3, whatever, ah, things started to turn around, you just get into trouble, this and this and that. And then what, I don't remember what he did because it was very naughty. I think that boy, now that I'm older, I feel 
for him. I think he might be going through abuse at home because there's just a lot that was going mm. on with him. So it wasn't just affect. He wasn't just bullying me. It was mm. he had a lot of anger to give. So obviously that's coming from somewhere. Anyway, that anger put him into trouble, and then he got embarrassed on on the assembly. And now that I'm saying the story, it's not that grand, but in high school, that was well, like. like Again, yeah, CNN, like, see, CNN breaking do you news. understand? Like, it's over for you, your rep, your life, da, da 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 da. And I was so happy that they, you know, they embarrassed him on, on, on um, the, the assembly, whatever, and then they expelled him and stuff. But that thing eh, only lasted like two days, five minutes eh, of the conversation. By the time I went back to class, and then nobody was talking about and, it. And I, I didn't even feel good about what he had done to me. So, vengeance is actually not enough to heal you. Like, it's just healing. You, know, you just have to actually forgive. I know it sounds boring and flat, but it's the true forgiving and letting go that is sweet. That this person has doesn't have any hold on me anymore. Not the nice. vengeance. Mm -hmm. Like, the vengeance is nice and like, mm -hmm. oh, ha, 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 mm -hmm. for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. So I think people need to also like, Put that in, in mind that this vengeance that you long for, that you crave for, like God forbid the Baba's drive, the Baba's mother and father and sister would die, and you would still not feel better, better about whatever. about your loss. And then aside that, now you know people can say a lot of things out of emotions and the way they are feeling at that moment. What if it cannot actually perpetrate any of these things that he's actually saying he yeah. would do, right? And then God forbid something happens to these guys and exactly. the law comes for exactly. you. Do you understand? Like, exactly. how are you going to quantify serving yeah. a sentence for a crime yeah. you did not commit just yeah. because you have You've a loud mouth? you indicated yourself, yeah. Do you understand? But it's so, handsome, I mean. That's really handsome. Mm. Say it to your chest. I mean, I, 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 you wanted to come for your exactly, baba and your dear dress as No, I'm just saying that he's very loud mouthed a bit. Like, mm. Mm. Is I, do you remember what, he's one that's related to Stephanie Okereke? Mm. They're cousins, mm. isn't they? I don't yeah, remember. I'm, I'm not really sure about that information. Yeah, I, mm. I think so. Um, he's very, very loud mouthed. Go and look at his history. He oh, talks, yeah? he talks anyhow. Yeah. Well, I know you had beef with um, somebody in the industry some time back and all that, so yeah. But I think um, whatever it is, I just hope um, may God um, grant his brother a, a perfect rest in heaven. And, and what about taking grief to social media? I think there's a big problem with that because when you're grieving, I think it should be a personal thing. It Why is it a problem? Time. Do you think like the person... Wait, what? what is After the... After a post, I don't think he should come out and make a video. But now, you know, in this case, it's saying that his brother was used for a ritual. Mm. You understand, and that it's a woman that was, um, the the what's it called now? The main conspirator mm. of the ritual. Now maybe somebody his, his brother was dating or whatever. We don't know what mm. the woman is to mm. his brother. They, that hasn't been disclosed yet. But whatever it is, I just feel like that's why he's so hungry because I think they are influential people again yeah. that they probably can't be touched yeah. like that. Yeah. You understand? Because the way he was still putting some respect on them. On yeah, their yeah, so they, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't really like call like yeah, you nobody. Yeah, he wasn't a it wasn't kind a C finish yeah, kind of call out. I like it was, that. Yeah, mm. so there was still some respect on their names. Like, mm. I, I, not me, I, not me, I will try. Mm. But it's not like we can really touch you guys like that. Yeah. But let's see how this plays out. I just hope they're able to work things out. And if there's an iota of truth in what you're saying about him being used for a retro, then holler at the cops. Mm. Do you understand? If you have the, if you have the proof, you have the, the facilities for yeah. that. And besides, you know people as well. So if you make your case grand, people will stand behind you. Mm. People will fight for you. People will make sure that you get you, even though we know justice is not hundred percent in Nigeria. But yes, people will share. At least we will make it big, as yeah. bigger. I think we'll be on this table singing a yeah, different song. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? We wouldn't be talking about yeah. it like this. But the moment you start threatening other people, people that are innocent, people that they don't have a business. Because let's even say, okay, the hairdresser was there when it happened, or the baba. What about the hairdresser's child? Mm, what does that have to do? The person that was it? at home. Do you, you now want to go and kill the child too? Like that's way, mm -hmm. way, way too extreme, and we do not support violence, or do we? No, we don't. And I remember we always used to say, like, if you know that you're on the right, like I've been hurt. I always say, like, that's the time you need to be really strategic in how you say it, because the medium in mm. which you prove you. you Claim it, your point right. is important because if you do it wrong, it takes away from the fact that you're actually yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Like now, the focus isn't no, no longer about you what being a victim, yeah. yeah, and like what they did to your brother, which is unacceptable. It's not the problem of how you said it and why and why you um, you know doing A, B, C, and D. So like, keep to the right and just just behave I don't right. I believe you saw this thing that somebody said that. Uh, 
when people die and when people lose people don't make jokes out of it like saying um, stuff like um Oh, put, my dad and your dad will meet in heaven. Yeah, and like my take... dad will meet. Yeah, then. And the other person now said, that's not a big deal. Oh, that when my dad died, one of my friends said, no worry. My dad will show my your dad around and even give him babes. Mm -hmm. And he said that was the thing he needed to hear the most. So people grieve differently. Oh, yes, Do you understand? Do. Now, yeah. somebody else found that offensive yeah. a joke about their loss. And then somebody else found and solace yeah. in, in that yeah. That's why I was even asking yeah. about social media griefs. Because for me... Especially a place like Twitter is very therapeutic. Like, if you go to my... That's why sometimes I feel bad for my followers because I'm like, half of the things I'm saying, I'm not really saying it for you. Like, Instagram, I'm, it's it kind of weird to say, but Instagram is for the people. Like, mm. you know, I'm, I'm taking a nice picture. I've made efforts for, people to for see, the gram. For the, you understand? And then when you don't get likes for those nice pictures. No, I always get likes, so I don't know that struggle. But uh, <laughs> uh, Twitter is a bit different. However, it's proud, though. Twitter is a bit different. Twitter is... As I am feeling, I would say it, you know. And I don't really look for likes or interactions or mm. reply or whatever. Mm. So for someone like me, if it, when I grieve, I take it to Twitter as well. Mm. And yes, people like to interact more with grief because they can relate to it. Mm. So, but I, um, my point is, somebody was saying someday that um, this thing of going to Twitter f to share your your death stories for likes is of is in, in beyond me. And I really attack that person because I'm like, not everybody does that for likes. Mm. Like, just because a tweet then gets attraction doesn't mean that that was my intention. intention like, sure. I went there sure. for the likes. Like, I went there because I go there for everything. If I'm happy, if I'm sad, mm. if I'm hungry, if I've learned something mm. new, if I'm excited to share something. So, like. People actually do respond very differently. Uh, yeah, definitely. I totally do agree. And I hope um, Kelly and some can actually work things out, you know, with um, the law and with the you the know perpetrators yeah. of, of, of the crime, you know. And I hope he has his facts right as well. Yeah. Because that's another angle. Mm -hmm. This is a very big, yeah. um, what's it called, accusation. accusation if it's yeah. not so backed so up if on it's facts. not true. We're talking about ritual. We're talking about murder. We're talking about a lot of things that, you know, isn't like... 100 so i hope i just hope that is able to work things out you know yeah. and that's just what i hope and yes um you know what else what else do you have to say on this one mm, that's it really I, I don't know if you saw t um t blills and t was savage, savage yeah really talk I about think, that yeah yeah okay that's true Should How we, come? Should, let's just quickly touch on it then so um do you see where he called her my baby yeah my baby okay yeah i think i think he has a type you see where he also posted his new girlfriend right. like two days ago yeah yeah so i think i think um you know tiwa savage has a strong man behind him and the guy is ready to go all out he even I called like this yeah. he called burner mm. boy he called david dole that nobody he's putting 100 million dollars people so if you think a worthy quotes quotes the word you a worthy challenger Please come out with your one million dollars and let's go against Tiwa Savage because hmm. you know Mama Jam Jam has the fire according you to. You think TV. Baba Jam Jam has one million, um, hundred million dollars in his account? One million, not hundred million. Okay, one million. million. Yeah. Do you think he has one million in his account? And it's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter. Those are somebody that said he would bring his guns out right. across TV <laughs> Africa. Remember, you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one and all of our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co-anchor, Ifeo Luwa Omai, and of course, the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye.